Hey everybody, it's Darkside. Welcome to another episode of Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Kind of continuing around here. I have this nice mausoleum. It just struck me that the, that that person, actually, that they could be talking about, could be a corpse. So I'm going to uh, see what I can do about. It. I, th I thought that was a mausoleum. Well, I thought it was. It is. It's some sort of a graveyard. And I'm thinking there might actually be a crypt in here where we might be able to find our friend. What the fuck? Hello oh. there, sugar puss. Might want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. No, but I am dead. Who else would be waltzing in here in the middle of the night? Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. <laughs> Romero. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No, you see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. See, it's like this. Every night around this time for the past... Oh, several months now, the dead have been getting up with an itch to stroll down Hollywood Boulevard. Nobody knows why, but they're working on it. Till they figured out, they needed a volunteer to patch the problem, and I stepped forward. Problem temporarily solved, the Baron's happy, I get to shoot zombies, and guarantee I get my blood for another month. I've carved out a nice niche here. Oh, you're a ghoul. Okay. Sounds like fun. You're telling me. As far as I know, I'm the only person around Hollywood who considers marksmanship an art. A lot of the stiffs around here used to be asshole celebrities, too. Bonus. I love my job, what can I say? By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in? Ooh, wasn't pretty. Yeah, sure, what do I gotta uh, do? You know, I know you're technically dead and all, but... God damn, you are one striking-looking piece of ass. Where were you when you were still breathing, huh? I don't suppose you'd still be interested in a little, uh... Even if I were alive, the answer would be no. Eh, what the hell. Business, right. I was thinking I'd head up to the strip and look for a dance partner for the old naughty tango. But, uh... You're kind of giving me the hot, uh, <laughs> want to save me a trip? Uh, really? That was like fun, let's play. Really? Just don't bite it, alright? What? I, I mean my neck. I'll be gentle, maybe. Oh, that's not exactly how I expected that to turn out. All right, anyway, back to looking for crypts. I still think there might be one. A mausoleum or something. It's a big ass place. All right, Romero. Ah, there's still another layer. Nope, not here. Now that looks like a mausoleum. And he actually did mention Isaac, too. I can't accept that there's nothing in this place. I mean, this just seems like... I mean, even if I'm wrong about the, about the actor or whatever, there's got to be something in here. Okay, well... I have been proven wrong. Right. Okay. So, nothing in the crypt. What means this place is kind of fucking useless? Ginger swans. Ah, fuck, I wonder if Isaac knows. Uh, man, you better have some good information here. You made good time. Hand me the item. Hmm. 
Did he at least make a good excuse? Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. Okay, yeah, that no depends. shit. Where can I find this old bat? In an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. Twenty years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. Oh, no shit. I was right, wasn't I? I was just early. Gut says go with the bones. Ah, here we go. Ugh. That should have been much simpler. All right, do we finally get to see what's on this tape? You still don't have it, do you? I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first, this tape. I'm in a hurry to Good. find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Ah, oh, that's the product of a Zenesi. It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? Yeah. It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Okay. Usually, I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Behind the spit shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Golly, all right, fine. Let's see. Who do we know around here that peddles smut? I wonder if you can get blood into Vesuvius. Gotta go over there to the sin bin anyway. I'm sure he knows all about it and shit. He's probably mass distributing that stuff already. That looks an awful lot like Chunk in his off time. Alright, so no blood to be had in there. Okay, let's go into the sin bin here and see if we can find anybody that might know anything about, I don't know, the sickest shit imaginable. Hmm. It's almost as if we needed somebody who's sick and depraved and has all of the tapes that we're probably looking for. I don't know where we could possibly find a guy like that. What can I do to you, honey? Holy shit, he actually has stuff. A baton. Pill bottles. Estrogen. 
Uh, baton, huh? I'm gonna see what for. Twenty-two bucks. I'll buy it. Why not? Maybe it was in his uh, smut bin here. Inventory. Maybe he doesn't have it actually. Awesome. The moon is a mysterious mistress. The Lucky Star Motel, room two. Don't be long. Oh, Lucky Star Hotel. I don't know which one's room two, honestly. Ah, room two, what do you know? Internet cafe key. Ah, okay, so. Dude. I think these guys are seriously fucked in the head. Wow, man. Wait a minute, what did he say? Oh, the internet cafe, yeah, right next door. Yeah, that's right, they had that locked door in here I wasn't able to uh, get into. Hey, sorry, man. Bitches. Well, that is an awful lot of goddamn blood. These guys take their craft very seriously, apparently. Really? A zebra? Oh, what the hell? How many more of you little fuckers we got in here? At least one more. I have no more of that shit. Okay guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified whenever I upload new videos. All my love everybody, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.